The United States is opening the throttle in its push to develop and procure hypersonic missiles, after falling behind key foreign adversaries China and Russia, in the race to field a potentially game-changing defense system. The U.S. is pushing to procure at least 24 hypersonic missiles in the near future, according to the fiscal year 2024 budget proposal for the Pentagon released Monday. And earlier this month, the Biden administration invoked the Defense Production Act to boost the defense industrial base to meet the hypersonic warfighting mission. George Nikowski, a senior engineer at the RAND Corporation, said, The U.S. is now in a pivotal stage where it will soon transition to initial production. Most ballistic missiles fly at hypersonic speeds, defined as Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound, but true hypersonics are maneuverable and can travel entirely within the Earth's atmosphere to reach its velocity. Since 2019, the Defense Department has spent $8 billion on hypersonic weapons systems development, and it wants an additional $13 billion for development and another $2 billion for procurement, according to the Congressional Budget Office. At a House Armed Services Committee hearing last week, several Pentagon and military officials outlined ambitious plans to accelerate development. They argued the weapons will serve as a deterrent to foreign rivals and eventually become a crucial component of the military arsenal. The intersection of the speed, maneuverability, and range of hypersonics provides capabilities that are simply not provided by ballistic missiles Horowitz told lawmakers. There are two types of hypersonics, hypersonic glide vehicles, which are released from a rocket booster, and hypersonic cruise missiles, powered by a scramjet, or air-breathing engines that use oxygen to combust fuel at high speeds. Concerns on the use of hypersonic missiles in conventional warfare is growing, after Russia has deployed its Kinzhal hypersonic missiles in Ukraine, with Kyiv saying it is unable to defend against the strikes. Russia's Kinzhal strikes have also sparked a debate about how much of a game-changer the advanced weapons, when equipped with a conventional warhead. Another concern is the price to develop the hypersonic missiles, which deploy sensitive technology that can be threatened by high speeds and high heat. Hypersonic weapons cost one-third more than ballistic missiles, according to the Congressional Budget Office. The U.S. developed the early technology for hypersonic speed testing in the 50s and explored the technology for years. But Washington largely abandoned the pursuit of fielding hypersonic weapons over time not seeing an immediate military application for the technology.
In the early 2000s, the U.S. took note of Chinese and Russian advancements in the field and began slowly increasing investment, with research quickly picking up steam in the last few years. After Russia fielded a hypersonic glide vehicle called the Avangard in 2019, China displayed its own hypersonic glide vehicle during a military parade that same year and may have fielded the system in 2020, according to a report from the Arms Control Association.